Ugh. I'm just trying to get uh, it right. Oh my god, what was that? It's alright, my leg's falling off. So. Oh god, oh wow, yeah, so clear. Picture. Really? Yeah. <laughs> right, Where's my hand? That. Hold that. Yeah, hi. <laughs> hi. Then, right, your thumb stick, not that, not that, your thumb stick there. Oh there yes. Oh uh, yeah. And then that. And then you let it go, and then that's what you get. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Oh wow, hello! That's a big <laughs> tree! <laughs> oh my god! What do you think to the clarity compared to last time? It's, it's so it? much clearer. So <laughs> much clearer. Oh, hello butterfly. <laughs> oh wow, this is amazing. Yeah, this is good. Wow, this is so clear! And the giraffe there, look, who go and pat it. I'll tell you one thing I am really impressed with straight away. And I was not mm. expecting it. Um, basically, you know, the, the black levels in all of the LCD headsets are, are pretty yeah. bad. They're not, not great. This yeah. is by far the blackest levels <laughs> I've the seen. Black. The blackest of black. <laughs> the blackness. Yes, the, the black. <laughs> the blackness is back. Fashion. Right, I am charging my hyper, hyper uh, drive, and easy I'm going to be say. on my way to you. Uh, you see, I've been in it a little while now. I'm basically, <laughs> I'm a sitting duck here, so you'll probably just see me going, "What the hell is he doing?" He's just literally hovering. <clears throat> you, oh, you joined my group though, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, you, we should be in one which we're not attacked by anybody. That's my understanding of it, because it's like our little world, if you will. That You'll sounds get good to AI. me. That might be why you might have been like miles away. I'm four minutes away, according to this. <laughs> let me let me set a really far away distance. Uh, Holy crap! This is just so. We're gonna go there. Damn clear. Yeah. We might have to. You might have to dock. I have never Thank docked you. before. How do you do that? You just basically aim for the hole and then hope for the best. Right. I am. Um, Right, I'm an orange vessel. That That's might have been you, I might have just seen, you know. I'm just sat still, I'm not going anywhere. Well, I've just literally just, uh, I'm really, really close now, I'm going to look. I'm on the entrance side to it. Oh, I am. Oh, crikey, this is just really there's somebody, weird. There's somebody flying around the entrance on this side, maybe that's you. It's alright. Ah. I'm really close to it now. Really, really close. Clean, Eagle, Vanguard... I'm looking for everybody who I can see to yeah, see if it's you. It's Six. funny, you know, because when the HP Reaver was released, it wasn't supposed to be for stuff like this. The idea was it was supposed to be for sort of like, uh, like you know, commercial and uh, sort of flight training and like yeah. nurse, nurse training, like RAF training, that kind of thing. And then HP realised that everyone was going mental. Anyone who was a sim geek like me just wanted it and they've yeah. literally sold so many of them and they, that wasn't even <laughs> their intention in the first place I love that, that's brilliant That is quite funny isn't it I've hit an asteroid belt and I've had to slow down I'm still five days away at the moment God I'm about to hit the galaxy any any moment <laughs> I guess Super Cruise goes off in a minute then <laughs> it should do because it's, it's an automatic thing there we go right I am now free I can now set myself back onto Super am Cruise I? again yeah you there can't you see are. me just yet there you Woo! are I see you Ray finally we meet <laughs> in all this space I know it's not like it's a big <laughs> area or anything god no, no 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 it's not like it's a huge area at last zing 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 you're two yeah, kilometers away. Yeah, 1.5 away. kilometers away. There you are. Oh, my God. How do you? Hello! No! <laughs> Thanks, Steve. <laughs> I didn't do that. You did that to me. <laughs> what the hell? Hiya. <laughs> uh, that, did, I didn't mean, that wasn't really part of the plan. No, but hey -o. Oh, wow. Look, there you are. Hi. That's amazing. How do I stop? I don't know. Just, uh, just backwards. level yourself out. That's it. That is... How cool is that? At last. It didn't take us too long. No, it only take well, yeah, about, what, two hours? Whoa, <laughs> whoa! There we go. Yeah, back away, back away! <laughs> Do you have, like, right. thrust for left and right, or...? 
Yeah, it's on you with a stick. Oh, look at that. The way you just can see that ship in such... I'm going in oh. now. I'm just going into the dock now. You probably, I can see, you're I can probably see it. Right yeah. Me. yeah. What dock are you on? I'm on 16. So you don't actually get any motion sickness with this then? That is good. I get a little bit, but not Do enough you? to put me off. Yeah. Because like now, you, I bet you really feel it when you, you're docking in. Yeah, it's probably the worst time. Oh, that is so cool. Wow, look at that. Right. I feel like it's that scene in Independence Day, you know, where they like that cigar. Because <laughs> then you'll still keep your original ship. It's funny, really. I don't, I don't actually want to get out of the reverb. I love it so much. But I am going to do yeah. that because there's a video that some of you guys are watching now. I don't know who you are. But in, and they'll be interested to see what I think about how that feels between this and the Rift S. That will be interesting, so it'll probably be a good time to do that before we call it a night, I suppose. Yeah. So, right, I will do that, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, now, I thought I would just um, mention, now that the gaming session for the reverb was complete, that my next part of the video is going to be in the Rift S. Um, and I'll just pretty quickly say now that uh, comparing the black levels, which I know is the most important thing that you guys want to know, between the Reverb and the Rift S, there's pretty much no competition, to be honest. I mean, the black levels in the Reverb aren't OLED sort of um, levels of blackness, I guess, but then we already know that with the difference in LCD screen. But it's damn close. And when comparing it back to back to the Rift S, I mean, even looking now, um, I was quite shocked with the difference. Really shocked. Um, the blacks aren't really. They're more like a grey, I suppose. With, you can see the kind of like the light of the black of the LCD display, you know, kind of like illuminating the blacks, which does have quite a profound impact. Now, I'm really surprised because the reverb display is actually quite brighter than the uh, Rift S. Not in a horrible strain your eyes kind of way just a brighter display so i would have thought it'd have been the opposite way around but no um so there you have it guys that's you know interesting very interesting i wasn't expecting that but nonetheless the rift s is still a fantastic headset that's why i'm keeping mine i love the controllers i still love the display and it's been great fun in the dangerous as you're about to see now so thanks guys for watching and here's the final part of this little co-op messing about sort of Hooning around shenanigans. Wow! Right. Well, I'm actually recording this, just so you know. <laughs> oh, good. It's a good job you weren't. It was a good job you weren't recording it before then. Bloody hell! I know. I know. But um, gonna have to. I haven't. Up. I haven't put that on YouTube yet. Uh, All right. <laughs> but I intend to. What I'm going to do is like basically do, you know, probably amalgamate two little sessions together. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Auto launch. So, there we go. am I going to just find you somewhere then? I should. Well, I am just outside Cleo Station, if that's where you are. I'm at Mawson Dock. Oh, God, ah, this go. is so frigging cool. I love this so much. There we go, automatic docking. Oh, oh God. Yeah, you can tell I haven't played it in a couple of days. Ooh, that just did my head in. <laughs> oh, I know, it does, yeah. I know what you mean. Oh, this is really <sighs> weird. Oh, there's someone else docking as well. Yeah, oh, I've just oh, had no. somebody go in front of me. Oh, God. I always try and do this bit on my own, and I'm going to crash. Oh, I've crashed. <laughs> um, oh, no. Now. So you're coming to Cleo Station. Uh, not at the moment, I'm not going anywhere, I'm literally crashed out. <laughs> How do I get out? Oh god. <laughs> this is very undignified. I bet. <laughs> trespass warning, what do you mean trespass warning? My keyboard's been unplugged. Oh, okay. I must have unplugged the keyboard by accident. <laughs> I'll just pull that wire out, we'll pull that wire out. Oop. Yep. <laughs> and there was like a some sort of electrical socket that was plugged into my computer. I plugged that one out as well. It's a bit black now. But, uh... <laughs> I pulled this free pin kettle lead out of my uh, out of my computer, and it all went black. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, Oculus Touch. Ooh. Right, Ooh. apply. 
we're getting there. It's only taken us about a million light years. <laughs> the um, it isn't the most intuitive of games. No, it is right. Okay, this is good. Right, I'm going to auto launch to see what happens. Oh, I was going to say I'm going to look in what we've got. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm going to do this just so I can auto launch, then come back again. Okay. I just want to see if I can actually play this bloody game. <laughs> uh, right, I'm going to have a look at what missions we've got then to see where we can go to. Just quickly, but then again, it might not be the same for you. But we'll see. It's funny how I don't get any motion sickness at all, or motion, you know, feelings. No, I don't, I don't now. Not as much as what I used to get. So used to it now. All oh, right, order okay, so... Station, order each station. Oh my goodness, I can take shit loads. Oh, so your back triggers are your throttles? Yep, and that's it. Your front triggers are for your hard points, your weapons. Oh, God. Um, and then it's your... I don't know what it's like, whether the control buttons are the same for yours as they are mine, but it's the bottom, you know... Near your analog sticks, you've got the two buttons on either side. It's the right, bottom now, one about to put it away. There's one thing that I will definitely say straight away. Yeah, you might have a nice time in the reverb for your display, but these controllers are so nice and they work really well in the Elite Dangerous game, and that in itself is a big plus. I think if I, st if I play this game a lot, I think mm. I'm probably going to use the Rift S more than the reverb simply because of this now. This, this feels really... I suppose if you had, like... Because some people people who play Elite Dangerous have real special, like, gear. They have, like, HOTAS, you know, throttles and God knows what. And if you've got that, then fair enough. But if you're just using controllers, mm. then the Rift S wins totally. Oh, this is great. I just can't get over that amazing feeling when you're just in, your, in the actual huge station. Yeah moment i've got my super sampling set about 1.6 and it's a very nice display in here but as I say not as good as a reverb that's for sure <laughs> right ship's main external no don't external God. core so that's two tons just great to look around isn't it it's amazing it is it's uh, it's very cool. Okay. Uh, how do I accept that? Right up on the top left hand side, the it'll probably be in there. That you've got like your little thing with yeah. you. Yeah. Just trying to yeah. look. How, how do you actually? Oh, it's there. I see. Oh, here we go. Jo not joining the ship. Don't want that. No. Voice Join comms. comms. Hello. Hello. Uh -huh. Which is better? I can actually hear everything now. Uh, I can, hear <laughs> so can you hear loud. me okay? Oh yeah, I can hear you alright. That's so loud. Actually, you're not very loud. Why am I loud again? I'm always loud. You're fucking ridiculously loud. Go down. What? Why? Why am I? Why are you not loud? That's really weird. You're you're not too bad. I mean, like you could do being a bit loud. Oh, oh hyperdrive. You've now got an invite to wing. What? Really? Yeah, I've just sent you an invite to wing. Obviously, it's not multi-crew. I'll tell you what, let me just get back to the ship and uh, get my earnings. Yeah, get your money. And then we'll try that. Lock oh, destination. You're back in the system, are you? I am getting there. <laughs> I do like the way it goes, like radio talk, it's quite cool though. It, it just feels so much more realistic, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. I, I actually feel like I'm in a spaceship more now, rather than just... Sat in a chair in the new computer room. Yeah, exactly. There we go. Hey! There we are. There you go, it tells you where you are now. Oh, thank God for that, there actually is. Oh, brilliant. I don't know what... I'm happy about that, if I can see you. Yeah, it shows you where you are. I can see you. Left hand side. That is absolutely flipping brilliant. I'm trying not to swear. There you are. Well, that's going to make things a bit better, isn't it? Yeah. So I've seen you out. Now you need to come back in and we'll just get another mission and see how that works. So hold at maximum. 
maximum capacity. Uh, just collect item zero, but it's in red. Yeah, that's it. You've collected them all. If you look on your inventory now, on the right hand side, you should have a full cargo capacity. On the right hand side, deliver four units. Oh, I'll have, yeah, I'll have a look at that as well when I go back, actually. How, God, you, how did you learn that? That's that's a nice one. <laughs> just, yeah, it's just one of the things, mate. But you can upgrade all sorts, you shit. You're seven kilometres away from me. Yeah, I see you. I'm just docking now. I'll see you in there. Yeah. I'm on my way in now. And bye just... bye. <laughs> Four kilometres away. Three kilometres. When the away. world ends, this is this is what I'm expecting my life to be. Yeah. Oh, I can see you. <laughs> I'm literally coming in right behind you. I'm next in line. You've just gone in, and I'm just lining up straight in now. Super. <laughs> Definitely have to refuel though. <laughs> and I've got myself 18 grand. Yep. And that's all I've been doing is just jumping backwards and forwards doing career jobs. And yeah, sure. Jobs. So, what a way to, you know, get some. Uh, money together, which is kind of what you need to do, really. Yeah, and it gets your reputation up and eventually you'll be able to get bigger and better ships, so it's just a good way all round to get everything, really. <laughs> this is way better than Skype, because I can still hear you clearly, and it feels really like, you know, we're talking to each other from different spaceships. <laughs> it is very, um, yeah, it's, it is cool. That is how it does it. It is. Okay guys, this is just a very quick wrap up. Um, if you've managed to make it to the end of the video, congratulations. <laughs> it must be extremely painful for anyone who's a really true fan of Elite Dangerous to watch that because it was just literally carnage. But through trial and error and messing around with a friend, I had the most best time and just, just so much fun. Um, and just working out things. Um, and even that, it was, a, it was a big session and I think um, it was really interesting trying out both the Reverb and the Rift S. And the conclusion's a surprising one actually. I'm going to be using the Rift S for Elite Dangerous regardless of those lesser black levels because it doesn't really take away the experience and if you crank up your super sampling it's actually still a beautiful display. But the main reason for me personally is because of the touch controllers. Now we all know the touch controllers are the benchmark for VR. It's they're just superb. They work really well, and um, because I've got them constantly in my hands, um, I don't have a Hotas stick or anything like that. Uh, and I find them absolutely fine. I can just lean back in my chair and just enjoy flying the ship or crashing the, sh the ship, as it may be, <laughs> with those controllers. Now, I suppose if I was in a situation where I had some decent hardware to use for Elite Dangerous, then I would probably use the reverb because the display as I've said many times is unmatched um, the black levels are better so you know there's falls and against for both as they always is but I really hope that you enjoyed that little shenanigans um, and just messing about uh, and I may do some more Elite Dangerous in the future if you if you want to see some more it'll be a little bit more constructive next time and <laughs> a bit more focused upon particular missions now that I'm getting to grips with it a bit more but uh, no, it's a fantastic uh, I want to call it a sim really because it is quite in depth um, but only you can decide really which sort of headset you would like for Elite, Elite Dangerous they're both superb headsets um, but for me personally with my setup I will be using the Rift S in the future for Elite thanks for watching see you again soon bye bye